All right, time for the power plant, I believe. So let's get a move on. I've trained a few team members up um, preparing for Misty. I've actually trained up Sunflora. Uh, we don't have it on the team currently. I don't remember who I had last week at what levels, but we'll do a quick run through here. So yeah, uh, Nido King's at 61, everybody's at 61. We got Thunderbolt, Calm Mind set on Wurzbowski. Don't remember if we had that last week, but yeah. Currently training up Abagnale as an alternate. Um, right now it's basically just an XP sync, but it could be useful for Misty because it does water absorb and it's a special defense tank and it has signal beams. So it might be an interesting counter to a Starmie, which I can only assume she will have. Um, so what I'm looking at right now for Misty is like three grass types we go in with doing a sunny day set. And then we have a few alternates to deal with things that maybe the grass isn't so good against. Um, I'd like to pick up an electric type in the power plant, hopefully, to, to work with all that. Um, which would really help with our coverage, because right now we're relying entirely upon our grass types to counter water, and that's not always going to work. Plus, there's things like Gyarados, where electric is super effective, super, super, four times effective, and grass is just 1x because of the flying type coverage. So, it'd be really nice to bring in an electric type. So, assuming that we get one in the power plant, we can bring three grass types, an electric type, Abagnail, maybe. Well, currently, I guess the plan is to bring Abagnale. We bring Abagnale, and then we bring maybe the Gardevoir, maybe something else. Oh, yeah, we get an encounter out here, actually, because this is a different route. Let's take a quick peek at the map. From what I remember... No, it's in the Poke Gear. From what I remember, this is the only grass on this route because it goes... Yeah, this is the route. This is 10 which continues to Lavender. Yeah, it's usually quicker to just bring a fly, but yeah, this is all route time. So we can get an encounter out here, which could maybe be an electric type as well. Also, it looked like there was an item nearby. Let's find that real quick. Up in the corner, just a Carbos, that's fine. Regarding the Sunflora, it has uh, plus speed nature, and it has um, uh, that solar-powered ability or whatever it is that makes it... Hmm. Eh, not really feeling that on anybody necessarily. Well, how fast is Wurzbowski? 117, but speed down. Oh, yeah, so you got to be tank. Um, you're 119. It wouldn't be the worst thing in the world to raise Abagnale speed, I suppose. And it might need the EVs. Sure. Fine. Fuck it. Why not? Oh, it won't have any effect. Alright. Well, let's get our encounter. Uh, what was I just saying? Yeah, solar power plus speed nature. So I put a, like, a ton of speed EVs into the thing. Okay, Pikachu. I'll take it. It's, I can't say I'm excited to see it, but it's an electric type. I'm willing to burn a Raichu in Misty's gym. Um... 47 is not bad either. We'll see what we get inside the power plant itself. Magnemite's on our ban list. We already have a Voltorb in this Pikachu, of course. But there could be Electabuzz and there could be other electric types, of course, that aren't Gen 1-ers. Um, so there should be something. The big question is that there's non-electric types in there. Alright, uh, shoot, I didn't get my notes out. Um, there they are. So we just did Vasquez. Oh, we have, wait, we have Hillard the Fero, and then we did Vasquez was the Sunkern. God, my notes are rat shit. Oh, what was our Pidgeotto named? Oh, shit. Was our Pidgeotto, did we have a Pidgeotto named Newt? I didn't write down the name. Uh, I'm going to pause and check on my names. Go back to my old video. 
Yeah, so Pidgeotto was new. Let me actually write that down. This one will be Rousseau because we're all the way into the real fucking dregs of the Alien franchise now. Oh boy, 2004's absolute dog shit film AVP. If you're a big AVP, the movie fan, be sure to leave an angry comment. Let me know how wrong I am for besmirching your favorite movie. But it is pretty bad. Also, I think the only female character that dies in that movie. So we're moving on to um, an even worse movie, the sequel to 2004's AVP, Requiem. So that's pretty shit. We'll get a lot of females once we hit Covenant for sure. Okay, we got a cop. Thief broken. What is the world coming to? Anything in this bookcase? No. Is there... Wait, is there no wild encounters in here? Oh, you know what? There might not be any wild encounters in here in this generation. It's not a gener it's not a uh, proper dungeon anymore, right? Mm, yeah. Oh fuck. I was really hoping for another electric type, but clearly they've been moving to the grass. I I remember this now vaguely. I do not have a Quagsire. We still should try to complete an in-game trade at some point, just for the item to evolve, um, like Machoke or something. Which I think I was discussing at one point having the Machoke in the team. Really? So we just have to come here to like trigger the event? Do we like leave and see the uh, the rocket or something? Ah, okay. Okay, that's, hey, child, can you go, are these like vending machines? They look like vending machines. I guess there's no vending machines in this. Oh, well, there's the vending machines in the department store, but no like random vending machines in this game, maybe. All right. Well, back to, why am I buffing it to Cerulean? That doesn't make any fucking sense, does it? Not very bright of me, huh? I guess we're just about ready for Misty then, huh? I suppose that'll actually be today. I wasn't thinking about that it would be because I was still thinking about Gen 1, Gen 3 power plant and not Gen 2, Gen 4 power plant. Wowee, those sprites. So good. Alright, um, Nido King's probably fine enough lead against a rocket. If he fights us. Okay, so do we chase him down, I guess, and then come back for like a part? Off towards the cape. Okay. That that kind of makes sense, huh? Well shit, I might have to do a grinding break in the middle of this episode if we if it's so short that we get to do Misty today. Um Oh, we should have looked at that Pikachu. Alright, refight. Um, it would be okay, an okay matchup, but we just don't have any strong advantage here for it between Poison Grass and Earth moves. Defensively, Parker's fine. Do I want to swap you into a bat? 101 defense. Uh, good HP bulk, but it's probably better to bring an arrow and go for the kill on him. Mm -hmm. 
Just because Arrow doesn't have the possible weakness of nasty plot. What are you gonna do, like air cutter to me? If that's if he wants to do like air cutter, it's a good thing that we got Arrow in here. Arrow can take an air cutter without blinking. Giga Drain? Can they have Giga Drain in this? They probably can, because they can have Giga Drain in um, Platinum. Dies anyway, doesn't matter. Alright, piece of cake. Where is he supposed to be from? <laughs> like, what the fuck? This is Johto, so it's part of Japan. Right? So you'd assume that what you see is game text translated. Like, the actual characters would be speaking Pokemon version of Japanese or whatever. Right? It's translated into English for you, the audience member playing the game. So canonically, what, what would that guy's accent be? That he's talking in broken... Basically broken Japanese, technically. Um, why am I here? Oh yeah, look at Pikachu. Let's check out the Pikachu. Also, I think we didn't check out some of our other encounters on camera. I think I forgot to do that. So what are our last ones? Firo, Sunkern, Seeking. Okay, so we probably looked at you. Let's check the Firo. Naive Nature and Sniper. So we got plus speed minus special defense with Sniper. Potentially interesting if we have um, a good reason to train up a bird, normal type bird. Um, we could do some shit there, maybe. Seems okay. Okay for a Firo. Uh, Pikachu, we're looking at. It comes with an Oran berry. He's hasty? You know what? That's probably okay. Your glass cannon, anyway, right? So, Lightning Rod? Does Lightning Rod cancel electric in this generation? Because I know, I'm pretty sure that ability changed uh, between some games. Let's read the entry on it. Lightning Rod ability. Checking Bulbapedia. Forces all, generation four. Now forces all single target electric type moves used by allies target the Pokemon. Electric type moves used by allies never miss. Summer of all turn, cannot redirect. Okay, so generation five is when it grants immunity and gets special attack. In this generation, it just sucks. All right, not so great. Discharge, thunder, light screen, that's okay. Um, screens kind of feel shitty on such a glass cannon. So I would not anticipate we do anything with screens. Um, yeah, and then the, this is our sun flora here. So we're looking at a hasty Sunflora. I've got it speed up to only 91 because its speed is atrocious. This might even be a bad idea to do this, to give it that much speed EVs because its speed is so low as a base. But I really want to capitalize on solar power here and run it as like a suicide solar beamer. So my plan is when we use this in Misty, I'm going to give it a uh, choice band. And this thing's 63 because I really ground the speed EVs into this thing. So I kept going a little bit further than everybody else. Um, I wanted to break 90 at least on it. Yeah, I, I think we'll kind of probably hit the gym up at like 62, maybe? I don't know if she has trainers. That's the other thing. Um, and then Sea King might have been... Yeah, we might not have looked at Sea King. Let's take a quick peek. Uh, Water Veil, I feel like we looked at discusses. Prevent it from getting burns pretty meh and attack is kind of meh. But maybe okay for a Sea King actually, right? Because it does have Aqua Tail and Waterfall. Whatever. All right, let's go find that part. Um, do you think there's? I don't know if there's trainers in her gym. Whatever, we'll just leave Nido King in the lead. Doesn't matter. By the tubes, eh? No. Does it not show up on item finder? Or is it back around the other side or something? Ah. Machine part. 
great. There's that. So we can deal with the power plant. Uh, I guess we just got to run over to it. We can't really fly to that other Pokemon Center. Which is weird, like, because you can fly to the front and back of Victory Road, but this Pokemon Center over here doesn't actually count as a fly point for some reason. Pretty strange. Could pause right now, I guess, but we're already halfway there. Um, up. Honestly, don't fucking remember. Okay, there we go. Let's just cut to skip and count. Oh no, we're going to the power plant, right? Yeah, so we're gonna go up here. All right, so I'm gonna level the Pikachu up. Now we have a counter if we need to deal with a Gyarados. Although low defense is probably bad for something that swaps in on a Gyarados. I might bring a Sacrifice. That way if we want to bring in the Raichu, we have a way to pull it in easy enough. I think I might do that. So if we do that, we're bringing in three Grass types, Raichu, a Sacrifice, and then we have one other thing. I don't know what that other thing is going to be. That leaves us kind of in a position where ice is a bit scary with three grass types. Problem is having a good water ice sacrifice. Or counter, I mean. Maybe Breloom? Hmm. So where's Bowski going to do anything for us in that gym? Oh, we wanted to bring Abig now. But that's also not a good counter for a um yeah i don't think we bring abeg now i think we bring friar tuck and we bring a sacrifice it's another grass type though oh no friar tuck doesn't work good as a counter against ice types because of that reason duh ah shit i don't know maybe we just Try and fight it with that. Maybe we do bring Abagnail. Could try Shuckle. Stall out a nice type. I guess there's Wall Rain. I guess I talked to this guy back here. Okay. TM57, is it charge beam? Because that's what he was talking about. I would assume so. Yep. Red chain. Don't remember what that's for. Charge beam, I seem to vaguely recall, has some interesting learn potential. But maybe that's a Gen 5 thing. Oh, we have two of these, actually. I think one came from the raffle. Where's Bowski can learn it, but where's Bowski? Oh, where's Bowski has Thunderbolt already, though. I did do that. Maybe we bring where's Bowski. Because it's not weak to ice. We can even set up Calm Mind shit. Try to go for that for Thunderbolt. Yeah, we bring where's Bowski to the gym. Definitely, definitely. That's why part of part, probably part of the reason I decided to teach it Thunderbolt. I honestly don't even completely remember. All right. Now I can assume Misty will be back. Is it true? Unless we don't even bring use Pikachu. Um Jim's looking a bit empty, but that doesn't mean Misty's... No, she's not here. So where the fuck do we find Misty? What the fuck? Okay, um, she's still not back. Are we supposed to go somewhere else first? All right, I'm going to pause while I figure out where we're supposed to go. Bingo! Misty's up here on a date. 
And it looks like it's not going well. Alright, Misty, bye. Kick your ass later. Alright. So that's all that we have to do there. This is a really weird path back. Have we ever gone this way? Like, have we ever taken this side path? I don't remember. Hmm. Maybe. Well, I'm assuming we have to go straight to Misty. Oh, she does have trainers in the gym, though. Okay, 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 okay. That changes things a little bit. We can at least fight the trainers first, and then I might put Misty off until next time so I can train between episodes instead of in the middle. Because grinding in the middle of an episode is annoying because i got to pause the video and sit there with a pause recording for like 40 minutes or whatever. It's not great. So, Neo King, get out of here. You're, you're a liability. Arrow liability. Box is full. Yes, that would be true. All right, so we'll grab the full sun team. We'll try that out. And then we still have uh, Mantine to soak up a little bit of XP. And then, yeah, I can train up Pikachu between episodes. Okay. I need my band. Um, got a bunch of people with lefties. They can kind of keep it. It doesn't really matter. All right. So, what do you have? Lefties? That's fine, I guess. Yeah, there's a setup mod that makes sense. Then you get a band. Should be the other direction, right here at the end. Okay, um, and then Bios is the plan for the lead. So you need Sunny Day, which we probably just kill Drain Punch. Um, Chlorophyll. Yeah, so I should probably go Giga Drain, Sunny Day, Solar Beam, right? Sleep Powder's got some useful utility. Yeah, because you don't sleep. You sleep as well, but that's... Okay, yeah, let's do that. Um, do I have TMs available, actually? I'm pretty sure I bought a Sunny Day. Ooh, can anybody learn U-Turn in this team? Damn. I wonder if Pikachu can learn it. All right, so where are the things I need? We have a solar beam. We have a sunny day. Great. Yes. So Bios gets sunny day. Fire Tuck can learn it too. Interesting. Even Max can learn it. So we'll have two sunny day people on the team um it can go here that's fine all right and then we grab uh solar beam and bio sticks that as well Ooh, you know what another reason where's bowski is good well i suppose it's redundant with with Executor, actually. I was going to say Tentacruels. Having the Psychic for Tentacruels is good because we can't beat him with Grass, but it's actually not as good because it's redundant. All right, uh, yeah, so this replaces Drain Punch, which is redundant with Giga Drain. We're losing coverage, but Blossom has a very particular purpose, which is this gym. So I'm not so worried about having good coverage on it because I don't anticipate bringing it anywhere after the fact all right let's go with this team then not gonna update the overlay right now it's not worth the effort honestly 
Let's test out the grass core here and see how well they do in a trial battle. Looks like we got at least four gym trainers. Whiskash. Um, I probably just want to kill this straight away with the four times grass rather than set up Sunny Day. Because it can Earthquake, which would hurt. So yeah, I think we just go for the kill here. Corsola. Alright. Um, rocks don't really matter. Let's set up a sunny day. We outspeed it to begin with. Goes for spikes. I really don't care. Are you rock type? Wait, Corsola is actually, actually is rock type, right? It doesn't just have rock moves. It's actually rock. Which will make it four times a week to grass. So I guess I didn't really need to do the sunny day here. But it's probably a pretty safe setup. Um... We'll just go for the... Well... PP's not going to matter that much. We'll save the healing for when we need it. So I expect Bios to sweep now with solar beams. Kingdra? All right, so that's only gonna be one times effective. I'm gonna go for it though. We do outspeed a Kingdra, which is really nice. That damage is pretty good. Ooh, I hope we still outspeed this. I'm gonna go for Solar Beam. Even if we don't outspeed it, we'll wanna guarantee the kill. I don't think they're gonna heal or anything. We still outspeed it even after a Dragon Dance. Very nice. Uh, and what I was gonna say is Giga Drain's not gonna do much healing when it's that low, so there's not much point if it hits us and trying to Giga Drain top back up afterwards. All right, this bodes well for the strategy going into the Misty's battle here. Leaning on all, using all our Chlorophyll Mons up. Uh, Ludicolo. Hmm. Well, it's 90 days up. We might as well take advantage of it and just fire a solar beam here, even though it's not going to be all that great. Still probably does at least half, I would think. Nice. Tutor Dance. Confuses us. Sunlight fades. Let's try and reset Sunny Day. Not good. Try attack, that's fine. We can always swap. It's its last, it's their last, ooh, the para sucks. That's not great. All right. Could try to go to Abag now. Finish it that way. 57, 58. It's not bad. I think we can finish this with a signal beam. And if it goes for water, we soak it. Nope, try attack again. That's fine. Uh, we would die to like a bolt, but I think we're good here. I don't know if Ludicola learns Thunderbolt either, so. All right, cool. Piece of cake. Heal up, move on to the next gym trainer. Bios to 62. Yeah, Bios is pretty decent there. Nice special defense tank, which helps against Starmies. Not not poison types, we're not weak to Starmies. Psychic moves, Chlorophyll. Yeah, pretty solid. I think it was the right call over Vileplume because of the niche usage we're um, sticking it in. All right, so let's go, ooh. Can I use this on you? Won't have any effect. How about you? Won't have any effect. 
All right, fine. Well, wait. I give it to Pikachu. Actually, that's that's perfectly fine. Uh, we need a para heal. We need some other heals as well. Are we in water range? Yes and yes. Yeah, so we'll do Misty next time. We'll get the trainers knocked out of the way, and then I can get the Pikachu prepared and finish up grinding anybody else up who needs to be ground up. Um, so we'll just do these gym trainers. Where are my para heals? Oh, they're on the third page for some reason. Alright, do we want to lead? I think we keep the same lead for now. We can evaluate later if it gets like 63 or something. Uh, excuse me. Oh, you're down a row. Okay, that's fine. Because I'm not sure how I feel about leading Sunflora. Because it does not have staying power with solar powered. Kingler? Um, maybe concern? We got level it so we can't get guillotined. Slam, that's it? Okay, never mind. I'm not concerned. Wipe them out with Solar Beam, and so on and so forth. Yeah, I'm fine with getting Bios to 63 on the gym trainers. I'll probably do a mixture of like 63s and 62s for the 64 level cap. Maybe I'll get some of the mods that we only want to really use here up to cap. I don't know. I mean, how many of the mods we're using here actually come into the next gym? Not many of them. Well, maybe some of them do, realistically, because what else do we have for Surge? We got Nidoking. Fighting types are okay against, like, Steel types. Um, I'm going to go for the kill, because I don't want to deal with Ice Beam. And if we fail to kill, we might die? We should kill, because it doesn't resist. Right? I mean, it's really high base power. Good. Good, 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 good. We can kill Dugong's 58. That's good to know. I'd maybe be a little more concerned if there's a wall rain, but... Also, Bios is good special defense, actually. So I think we can take an Ice Beam for most things. Okay, Gyarados. Uh, what are we expecting? What are we expecting? Flying move would be bad, but Gyarados doesn't really learn too much for flying. It doesn't want to do anything really crazy, right? We could try a Sleep Powder. Or we can just go for like a double Solar Beam kill. Let's see what we can do with a Solar Beam. Okay. Ooh, Hyper Beam. That's special though. So that's not bad. Yeah. Easy. Let's finish this with another solar beam then. Oh, I could also Giga. We could go for like double Giga, but then it might heal, which would be problematic. So we should just go for the kill. Oh, also sun is about to expire. So we definitely just go for the kill. Yeah. We don't take risks. We just kill. Sunlight's down. We can set up a new sun and swap to Sunflora if we want to try it out. Slow King? It's probably fine. Let's set up a sunny day. We go for Psychic. That's not too bad. Um, we should probably swap. If nothing else, just to conserve PP. What we can do... Okay. Oops, I want to check your stats. 136 special defense versus 159. Uh, problem is, if we swap in Vesquez and they take two psychics, they're not doing so good. We can go to Max. We can go to where's Bowski. Max can actually... Yeah, Max doesn't have Solar Beam, but we can still Giga Drain this. This is probably the safe play. Sun, I have a feeling we're not going to really see Sunflora in action until Misty, where it'll probably die. Trump card? Is that 
like it does variable damage based on PP, I think, right? That's like an EV thing normally. I'm pretty sure I actually read the article about that a few days ago out of curiosity. Because I was looking at an EV learn set for my uh, platinum draft I'm doing. I'm trying to figure out what the fuck to do with my EV I don't have the stone for. Because I drafted Jolteon. Just a gamble on actually getting a stone for um, for fighting Wake. All right, uh, Giga Drain kills, so we're good. All right, Bios did not level up. Bios is rapidly gonna run out of PP, which is fine. Looks like you need a lemonade. Everybody else is good. Oops, back a page, yep. Yeah, also Sun Sunfloor is 63, so it doesn't need to be used in here because it doesn't need any XP. Oh, I missed you up there. I didn't even notice you. Good amount of trainers in this gym, actually. Five? That's that's a lot. Jumping from two in Brock to five in Misty. All right, you know the routine by now. Sunny day, we'll use up our last few sunny uh, solar beams and switch over to Gigas. And then probably that'll be it for Bios in the gym. Switch over to trying out other guys without sunny day strats. They've been pretty effective, which is nice. I mean, nice upside of Sunny Day is it neuters all the water moves, too. So if you're finding something without anything else, um, it can't do shit. Uh, let's do Gigas. Because I'm not worried about this guy. I'm not too concerned about an Azumarill. Unless, of course, this does less than half. Holy shit. All right. Aqua Tail, that's not going to do anything. All right, go for a Giga. Might as well get an HP back, and it's not like we're going to Solar Beam at this range anyway. Oh, they actually might heal. Nope, they don't heal. Okay, good to go. Good to know. All right, eliminate the Azumarill. Great. Mantine. Um, Mantine's not going to have shit for flying moves. I'm going to drop a solar beam on him here. He's going to take it really well. Um, maybe I just go for sleep. Or maybe I just switch straight towards Bowski. Let's go for sleep. Nice, nice sleep. We'll go right now. Now we go to Wisbowski and we go for Bolt. We get a free swap in, or no, we don't. Um, Cause this is the only guaranteed sleep turn. But we have odd, good odds of a free swap in. Nice. Uh, and then I don't know if we outspeed, but we'll certainly find out. We do. T-Bolt should kill this with four times weakness. And Rosbowski's decent um, special attack. Yep. Even though it's a special tank, we can't stand up to that kind of assault. All right. Well, I guess we leave Rosbowski in probably. Yeah, that's fine. Octillery, uh, signal beam. Does signal beam kill us? I don't think so. Let's just go for the kill. We might as well find out now if we take Signal Beam. Well, we should. We got good special defense. It's not stab, but we should be fine. 75 base power. Or Octillery just fucking dies here. Either option's good. Three level advantage too. Yeah. That's fine. Polyrath. Uh, we can go for the stab psychic kill on the fighting type. I imagine that's a kill, right? Unless, well, Polyrath, I think, is buffed in this game. I think. 
I don't have the documentation open, so I'm not going to go check right now. But I should have checked. I should have made sure. But I think that was a safe bet. I mean, what else are we going to fight it with, right? All right. Um, that was a pretty clean battle, right? Yeah. All right. So you've got, what, one sunny day left? And like a solar beam? Two solar beams, one sunny day? Okay, you can you can lead again. That's fine. I'm perfectly content to get some of the grass core up to 63. I'll probably only push the rest to 62 or something, but... But yeah. I mean, the Raichu itself... So the Raichu, I don't want it to die. I'd actually like to have access to the electric type. Cloister. Okay, so Cloister, a little scary. Let's go for Sunny Day Solar Beam, though. The Ice Beam's gonna hurt, or whatever Ice move we take here, but I think we still... Oh, just go Spike Cannon. Fuck it, never mind, we're good. Skill Link, though, that would be a lot of hits. Which is probably what it is. Do I go for a Giga Drain? Cloister has bad special defense. I think we go for Giga Drain to top ourselves off here and preserve our solar beams for later mons. I think we're good. Also, Bios is about done here. Level cap wise. Eh, we'll, we'll still go for it. Even if it hits 64, I'm just going to accept it. We're going to swap it out of the lead after this battle. We'll fight maybe Executor in the lead for the next one. But for the time being, I'm not going to do swaps just because it's getting a little overleveled. I mean, it's not overleveled. The level cap is 64. But I am going to stop using it after this one. I'm not going to level I'm not going to level anything deliberately to 64 between episodes, but if it gets there in this battle, like whatever, it's allowed. Um do I not have Wait, I haven't been paying attention to XP. Are we actually getting, like, full XP? Oh, yeah, I have Lucky Egg on Abagnale, not XP share. Oh, that explains a lot. I just realized it wasn't leveling up, and I'm like, what is going on? Okay, yep, so I fucked up, and I've had Lucky Egg on Mantine from when I was grinding. Oops. We'll change that after this battle. But yeah, that's why Bios has leveled it up so fast in here, is because it's taking all the XP. I should have noticed that way sooner. Even when I killed the very first mod, I thought it was weird how much XP Bios gained, and I was going to look at, at that, but then I immediately forgot it again because I'm a dummy. Giga should kill. It's rock water. Can't take shit. Right? Well, it might be buffed. It's the, the eternal um, question mark at the end of every button push I do. Wait, is this buffed? Wait, is this buffed? Wait. Is this buffed? Is this buffed? Wait, is this buffed? Just, just, yeah. Um. But it's a good counter to have anyway. And then we'll just solar beam this. And then Bios can get retired for the rest of the gym leader battle. Or gym trainer battles. That's fine. Shouldn't hit 64 anyway. Honestly, with how bad things went between Brock and Misty with just random trainers, like... Whatever. I'm okay pulling out a few stops here. I mean, Bios and uh, Sunflora are only like one level over Pokemon Challenges level cap, so I feel I feel okay about that doing that. Um, so let's go. Yeah, we'll throw Max in here, and let's get this switched over actually to the XP share. The biggest reason I wanted the XP share on here too was for like EVs and shit. But we've had Abagnale. Um, XP shared before, I think. At least between episodes, I think I have a little bit. So they're not entirely without training. Obviously, I ground them up because they weren't 57. They were like 30. I ground some levels into them. I just didn't finish them. Because I thought having an XP sync would be good to do. All right. Last gym trainer. Then, yeah, we're at 45 minutes. So we definitely don't fight Misty today. That's tomorrow. We'll fight Misty. And then we'll probably just go get some encounters afterwards to round out the episode. I imagine, yeah, now we can probably go do Surge, right? So we'll have to see where we can go next. Oh, I wonder, I wonder if we can actually go through some other areas. Uh, let's just go for a Giga Drain. That's fine, we take it. We're a tank, we have leftovers. Giga Drain recovers a lot of HP, it's not effective. Um, yeah, we probably, so next badge is Surge. 
So Saffron might still be blocked. The underground tunnel probably opens up. I don't know if there's anything different about the underground tunnel in this game. We also might be able to go to Lavender or something. Which has like the radio tower stuff. And then we can get Snorlax. So that would all be very interesting. Sharpedo. Ooh, that's a little spooky. Probably a good time to bring in Friar Tuck. Definitely want to pull the Psychic type out. Because he's probably going to fight or a Dark type move here, right? Like a Crunch. What is he doing? Oh, Head Smash? Wait, what the fuck is Head Smash do? Is it Head Smash or is it like Skull Bash or what? No, it's not Head Smash. Is it Skull Bash, I think, is what I'm thinking of. Which is what, a normal type move with like 80 base power? 130 base power. Okay, yeah, and the turn is like to raise the defense by one level. Um, go for a spore. Nice, we outspeed the shark. That's funny. Disrupt the skull bash, then I assume. Nice. And then we'll just go for a Drain Punch kill here. On the Dark type. Might be buffed. I wonder if Sharpedo is buffed. It always seemed pretty dog shit in the base game. Still dies though. And then we take a uh, Rough Skin. Honestly, I only learned Sharpedo doesn't have a tail like two months ago. I always just thought it was the way the sprite was displayed that you couldn't see the tail, but it just doesn't have a tail. It's just the front half of a fucking shark for some reason. Um, Go Abagnale here maybe? Or we go where's... No, we go where's Bowski and we just go for T-Bolt. Because it's going for a flying move right now probably. It goes for Tailwind, that's fine. I don't think it has anything that can kill us in one shot, even with a crit. And Thunderbolt will take it out. Air Slash? Flinch could be pretty bad. That's not that bad, actually. We could have taken a few of those, so we were pretty safe bringing Rosbowski in. Yeah, we definitely want Rosbowski for Misty. I'm going to pull up the documentation, and we're going to look at changes to Pikachu. Um, Waylord. Am I concerned? I don't think so. Let's go for a Thunderbolt, see if we can two-shot it. Ah, uh, Water Spout, and it's faster. We are We should take that. That's scary, though. I wasn't thinking to be faster than us. Uh, it wasn't going to kill us, but we probably should swap since we're close to half. Unless this just kills. Does that just fucking kill? Dude, I guess it's just a little HP tank and not defensively, but I'm surprised that killed. Uh, Pokemon changes. Let's check what's going on in the neighborhood for Pikachu. Pikachu, stat changes, attack 65, special attack 60, speed 95, total 325, ability lightning rod, level up moves, charge, volt tackle 49. Raichu, attack 100, special attack 100, speed 121, total 516, volt tackle 49. Base XP change, 122 to 179. Okay, uh, volt tackle. Did we have that? What level was our Pikachu? I don't think it was 49 yet. I do not remember what you do, volt tackle. Signature move of Pikachu's evolutionary line in Generation 3. Is it just the levels changed? Okay, so recoil move, 10% chance of para, base power 120. Ooh, okay, nice. So there's our electric move for Raichu. We don't need, so we don't need to um, get a Thunderbolt for him. That's good. I like it. All right, so that's the plan with Raichu, actually. It'll give us a physical attacker, which is also... Oh, fuck, I have to go around this jackass. It'll give us a physical attacker, which complements our three specially offensive... Our four specially offensive other members with the three grass types in Gardevoir. Um, so, yeah, I guess we don't bring Abagnale, and then we bring a Sacrifice. Yep, that's the plan. That's what I'm doing. All right. 
Um, until next time, then.